Feel in the things. <laughs> Feel in the things. Whew. I was welcoming transmission because I was jumping on with all of you. Ooh. <laughs> and now I'm getting the physical felt sense of those transmissions entering into my body. So I'm just I gotta wiggle it out a lot like I do a lot of these things because I feel it so deeply and uh, sometimes it's like like you couldn't even like my hand would just shake right because my body wants to move with the energy that I'm receiving. Okay, so let me see if I can tune back into that transmission because I'll travel off to somewhere else. Right. So this is how I was hearing it. Be and your bubbles, babies. <laughs> You are entering a new paradigm. And in that space, you are a newborn. You are being reborn into a new world. You are entering a new life, a new container of experience. So like if we were all attuned to the collective energies that are going on right now, we would understand that we are emerging. And this is person dependent, it depends on the process, right? But right now I'm speaking to new paradigm creators, I'm speaking to embodied walkers, I'm speaking to people who are moving into a fifth dimensional reality or solidifying and anchoring a fifth dimensional reality. And I'm speaking to even more of you if you are not even in that place of your journey, right? When I show up and I provide the codes, I'm providing you compass points so that you can step into that understanding and that consciousness that I'm providing here embodied and through energetic transmission. So you're receiving a lot more than what you may know. And that's what I mean by this. Those compass points are you receiving a lot more than you know, and all you have to do is invite yourself to touch and taste it and embody a little bit more of it in each little moment. Just you're receiving, just like I am sitting here and sitting down, I'm like, I open myself and then whew, I receive the transmission. I don't yet know what I'm gonna say. I don't know, yet know what the transmission is, but I know that I'm receiving it. I know that it is coming from an energetic form into my body and into my embodiment, my mind, my soul, my spirit, my knowing, my expanded consciousness. And this is very, very valuable, very, very valuable. So wherever you are in your journey, you know that there's value here. And now that that invitation was provided, Tuning back in. Right. So let's see if I can get this out in a way where the images translate. We are individuating. We are individuating. So I just took you from we are babies, right? In this new paradigm, new earth way. And I want to um, enhance that. Would you, how do you show up for a baby? How do you feel about the baby? You want to protect the baby from the world that it exists in, right? You want to have it hold its pure essence and space. And a baby is coming in, is coming into a pure form kind of place of being, right? And it's just, Ooh, we just want to hold the baby and just love the baby and nuzzle the baby and and just uh, coddle the baby, right? Like like wrap it up in a blanket and just like nest it and its sweetness. And this is what we're being asked as new paradigm creators. We are being asked to remain in our bubbles. How did I start this? Something like uh, remain in your bubbles, babies, or something like that. 
which is to say, hold your space, hold your space, hold your peace, hold your essence, hold yourself, be in your center, be in your center and hold it and know it and grow it and expand it. Because we are in these bubbles, we are in these toroidal fields, we are in these spaces that are holding our essence and our consciousness, and we're existing in larger, right, which would be the new paradigm, bubbles and toroidal fields. It's a new container through which we're going to be ex experiencing our existence. These containers are all of creation. And this is what I teach as a teacher of creation. I was just feeling this, just major codes. So treat yourself like a baby, like this precious thing coming into life and you want it to just hold its sweet essence in place. Treat yourself that way. And this means, let's say an everyday practical waking life, this means consciously choosing who you associate with, consciously choosing what you do with your body, consciously choosing what time is to you. When I say time, I'm talking about the essence of time, how we're relating to time. Because when you're in your center, what starts happening is you start relating to time differently. And one aspect of that would be there are old paradigm beliefs that are coming in. Boop, boop, boop. You guys, old paradigm beliefs take up so much soul space. It's ridiculous. This is, this is what an old paradigm is, is taking up soul space. And these program beliefs and all this telling you that you need to be this thing or do this way or like, there's so many things there, so many traps. And it's like, huh, no, thank you. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> like... I am going to be of and with myself. And so when one of these beliefs drops in in any moment, which they do frequently, it'll happen less and less and less as you shift and shift and shift, but you shift into your own essence. You shift into the flow of life. You shift into truth itself because truth will unravel all of those programs that are built on falsity. And so when it's like be in your bubble, like be conscious of your thoughts, be conscious of time relative to your thoughts. Because if you are a creator and you're like, oh, I am actually this essence of creation that just wants to experience itself and has this trajectory that's been living through. Whew, feeling that. then you're going to want to create. You're going to want to create through that essence. <laughs> and what's going to slow you down, what's going to impede the process of your own creation are things like these crazy ass old paradigm thoughts. <laughs> crazy ass shit up in here. Like you should be producing more. You should have this outcome. You should have this done by this date. You should show up and wake up and do this every Monday. You should blah, 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 whatever. Whatever that is, all of those things are up to each one of us individually to choose for ourselves what works and what does not. And when you align with what specifically works for you, creation will flow from you. And now what are you creating through? Because if you're tuned into your own inner essence and you're not participating in all this old paradigm and all these beliefs and all stuff, and you're like, oh, what is my truth? So you're centering, more, centering into yourself more deeply. What's going to come through your essence the creation and emotion through your essence is going to be who in alignment with your purpose, in alignment with your soul, in alignment with your, your journey, your journey as not a human being singly, not singly as a human being in this lifetime, but as a multi-dimensional part of creation that has traveled throughout time and space beyond this dimension, like in such a huge way. Treat life like that. Treat this earth plane experience like that where it doesn't 
minimize the meaning, it actually brings more meaning to life because it's like, ooh, I get to live through this and like this isn't about all this other bullshit that I'm told that I need to be like over or preoccupied with. This system doing this thing and then that thing and then this person and this drama and then like that thing and this. like too much, y'all. Too much. We got we've got to treat ourselves so sweetly and insulate ourselves into our own essence, treating ourselves like babies, wrapping our essence in a blanket. When I say wrapping essence in a blanket, that's actually a multidimensional tool that I use that I'm here gifting to all of you in this moment, should you want to use it. And it literally is to weave your own energetic essence blanket, weave it, Oh my God, this could be a whole teaching, the layers. Let's see if I want to go in that deep. Okay. When I talk about weaving, I'm saying like you can literally quantum travel. You can feel the threads of creation and you can call in and invite what is meant for you. You do have to get your toroidal space, your sacred geometry in alignment in order to be able to do what I'm talking about. So you have to get to a particular place within yourself and your energetics to really be knowing consciously and working with that consciously. Um, if you're interested in that, then feel free to schedule me or book with me um, one-on-one intensive um, and we can get more into that so like you weave this blanket energetically of what is formed and fitted to your essence and you can call that in through your core desires through your highest heart and, and core integrated desires into this space with you and you can hug your energetic body with that with that, this is insulation. So you're insulating. Sorry, I'm just seeing my own blanket. So I got a little distracted there, just tuning into it in its essence because I'm getting a little bit more codes for my own blanket. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Cool. I'm not going to share what this came to me because it was for me specifically relative to my multidimensional blanket and I'm going to hold that close to me, right? That's my insulation. So I won't be sharing what it looks like or what it feels like or the message that I just received about it, but it's really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Oh, <sighs> So insulating ourselves really, um, like I'll, I'll give you examples of what this looks like for me right now and like how I'm choosing from this place. Um, I am not engaging on Facebook other than showing up as myself as a teacher because I am a teacher and time and space with me is really valuable and these are really services that I'm offering. So, um, you know, my videos are service offering, my posts are service offering, I encode a whole lot of stuff that I've been putting out for a really long time and not necessarily speaking about it either, like not letting you guys know I'm showing up with this immense amount of value behind these words and like if you pause you can receive this on a whole other level. Um, and this is why, you know, doing videos really works for me because I'm a teacher and I'm a speaker. So this is, this is the, the place for me. Um, and relative to my insulation means I'm not, I'm not necessarily looking at people's comments. Um, I'm not responding to comments because I'm not really looking at comments. Um, I'm not engaging with like the number of followers, like in the sense that like, yeah, I know I'm going to have followers. Like I'm bringing real things, really, really amazing and embodied things to life. Like there's no other way for it to go. And I'm a creator of this reality. Like I, I'm a weaver. So I can confidently say these things. Um, and so it's like, I'm not, you know, concerning myself with like numbers and algorithms, which are all like all this crazy programming that's really written and driven by patriarchal matrix programming as well. 
And because I'm, I'm here to anchor a new paradigm, I'm not going to be like tuning into that in that, that way, because it's going to shift my energetics into over here. Right. But I'm here to anchor this over here whoo, and be a teacher of that and provide all that to all of you also to live it myself, of course. Um, and so I'm not engaging in social media the same way. Um, the ways in which my business are shifting is really huge as well because anyone who is going to be sharing in time and space with me is going to need to bring certain kinds of harmonics in that are going to be a match for my harmonics and what I'm bringing to the table. You know, no one else is living this reality of my harmonics. I am. And so I need to make choices, understanding what dynamics I bring into the room and space and how other people respond to that. And then how, what that means to me and my own energetics and me devoting in, devoting, committing in to being a new paradigm anchor. I'm an anchor of this dimension. So I cannot like wobble back and forth in my decision making like, yeah, I'm just gonna like dabble over here with like, you know, this kind of person and these kind of dynamics. No, there is none of that. Like it literally hurts and hits my energetic body and it takes me down a whole other spiral. And because I have the perspective of being where I am right now, it doesn't make any sense to put myself in positions to be running down here. No, I'm anchoring in this world because this is a world that we all want to live in. This is a world that we all want to exist in. And I'm here like doing this fucking shit. Like I'm here doing it. I'm being about it. And it means that the world around me isn't like necessarily going to meet or match me, right? Like the masses are not going to be necessarily a match for me. And a lot of people aren't going to be a match for a close proximity to me. But that doesn't mean that um, like it would be really easy, for example, to get into a place of like, Oh, I'm so isolated, right? And I've been there. I have absolutely fucking been there. But instead, it's shifting into like just deep grounded anchored knowing like this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm doing. This is what it looks like. This is where I'm going to choose from and getting really fucking excited about it. Like I'm really excited even not to answer comments on Facebook. Like, I'm really excited about you guys. I really enjoy you. I am so grateful for the many connections that I've made for that space. And at the same time, like my life is shifting and who I am is shifting and like my work is shifting and I have a bigger mission than just uh, messaging back and forth in like comments and stuff. Like there's a bigger purpose to my work here and that's where I'm stepping in. So, um... I don't know how I got on to that, but I do want to return to simply like, oh, right. Because I was talking about the ways in which I am insulating myself and how am I choosing, like what that choosing looks like um, based off of insulating myself like a newborn baby, a new paradigm. Um, whew, I just love that. Whew, the feeling of the codes of the newborn baby. And, whew, it's good. Oh, thank you so much for that. Okay, so I see where this teaching is being, like the guides are showing me stuff and how to um, grow some of this and show you all some more codes. So when I was talking about the blanket and I'm talking about like, I think it's swaddling. I'm saying coddling. Swaddling the baby, right? Like when you wrap the baby in a blanket. Um, so what you can do is you can take your new paradigm self, you can take your newly emerging self, you can take your baby self, right, um, as a part of this paradigm, and you can take that woven blanket, you can encode it, right, you can print it, you can visualize it, you can write things on it, you can welcome in energetic signatures for what your creations are. There's so much creative activity that you can do here to build this as an energetic architect. So this is this is a big aspect of the work that I bring in. I'm an energetic architect. I'm like architecting all over the place. Um, I built like I like did architecture work for New Earth for us literally to have the new container to step into, um, which is why it was given the name Monia, Mother of New Earth, uh, because I literally like built and then like birthed. Whew, that's a whole other journey and story. That's a whole other journey and story. Anyways, so this energetic architecture work, architecture expertise that I have, you can receive some of that to use it for yourself in this um, baby experience and then weaving this basket, right? So calling that in 
for yourself and like once you've really like you've been like weaving it you've been feeling it you've been encoding it you've been you know being with it um it, you're imagining it looking at it touching it like really just sharing time and space with this energetic blanket you will use that to swaddle yourself <sighs> that's what it's like in codes in your own essence And if you want to bring the body in, you can actually bring the body in by doing like, I replicate in my transmissions, my body will rep replicate certain things that you can do to receive the codes more. Like there's a lot of intentionality between me pressing my fingers right here on each arm and it being in this like very like squared shape. It's really grounding. So like this is like a, it's like a light language body uh, transmissions that I receive. Um, I receive them like for clients as well that are really unique to them. So there's always these things that are coming through. And I just want to speak that out loud so that you all know, like, it's not just, this is not just this, right? This is like a whole other layer. So like, if you had that blanket around you and you were all cozy and you were wrapped up, if you actually take, so it's the middle finger, and you press in the, the space of your arms and you really hold your shoulders square and your arms down straight, you will actually feel, like if you can do that right now, you can feel like the solidness. So it's like being, being wrapped in the, this essence blanket to hold you insulated in new paradigm as a new paradigm creator and also a baby of this experience, right? Newly, newly emerging and you can do what, okay, right. This is a part of the transmission. So I have gone back in time and I have tuned into my embryonic self and my embryonic self, um, I had to do like work there because she had held on to this guilt that she didn't hold all the codes as like like as well as she would want to because what happens is we have like this is you know the baby's essence and the divinity the baby is connected to external circumstances beyond earth and to source itself and so we will call in and say okay these are the kind of like this is the life essence that i want to bring in and so our embryonic self is the one that's traveling that right? They travel that experience and then they come into this physical reality. And so they are the, the encoders, you know, um, once I tuned into this part of myself, it helped me allow for my quantum travel, for example, is so I was like, Oh, wow. Okay. I get every, all these layers and how I was doing this as an embryo. So as an embryo, these other things got in um, for my embryonic self. It was like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, your mom is thinking this thought a lot or there's this essence coming through her and it's actually coming into the space. So this is what happens as souls. We'll hit into the Earth's atmosphere, energetic atmosphere, and we'll collect these things there'll be like all these things that are here in this shared container right energetically we're like passing through it and then we receive things like for example picking up past lives or energetic signatures or like other connections to times and space that we were here and like there's all these various layers that we pass through and the embryonic self being like oh okay this is the life essence and like these are the things that you want to experience like this is what i really want to give you was like oh my god i don't want all of this stuff in here right I don't want all this stuff in here. I don't want all this bloodline stuff. Oh my God, I want to preserve it. I want to preserve it. I want to preserve it. <coughs> Preserving the essence. And I had to do work with that part of myself to let her know that she did amazing. She did so amazing. She held in so many things for me. And then I got to actually acknowledge and validate like specific things, right? That this embryonic self was like, this is really important. And that I had fully maintained that, or I had maintained it in just enough ways that I could remember, remember this thing I really needed. 
So um, I fed her with lots of gratitude and, and compassion and understanding and um, approached her, that part of me with curiosity. This enters the conversation about the baby and the swaddling process because we are experiencing that as new paradigm builders. We are coming up and we're having the baby and we're also having the embryonic experience. So we get to choose we get to choose the container through which we're going to live life. Many of us have had contracts that simply just ended. Done. <laughs> they were done last year. They were done last year. And so what we're able to do is create the new circumstances for the life that we want to live for this next chapter of our journey. We get to choose, just like if we would be outside this earth experience and say, this is what I want to experience in earth, right? We're getting that now. We're getting that now. And there's so much good juju and all the energetics are completely staged and set up for this time right now to support us in that, to support us in doing that. And so, you you know, doing so more consciously is the way to go. And insulating is how we do that more consciously. So... I keep hearing my name because it comes through my guides. Um, um, so it gets a little distracting for me in my channel sometimes because I'm just not used to hearing my name as much or as frequently. <sighs> so let me just pause here. So this is what it, you know, this is the importance of insulating ourselves to that degree, to the degree that we don't want things to get into our space that aren't of our essence. Like we don't, we had that experience earlier on when we passed through earth, right? There were things here and then we were born into this world of like old paradigm. If we're gonna be in creating a new paradigm and we have so much creative power to do so, then we need to be very discerning about what we allow in and, and not in our space. And when it comes to the old paradigm, um, you really need to insulate as many ways as possible to move away from those dynamics because the fourth dimensional space um, just has a lot of shit in it that is unneeded and unnecessary. And it really works on an exchange kind of basis. This fifth dimensional reality is different than that. And when you allow any energetic threads to come through, they are going to have an effect. It's just like if you're in a relationship and you go somewhere for a weekend and then you kind of like, are like, whoa, wait a second. Like you're seeing more about the relationship itself because you're outside of the shared container. Well, we're doing that. As new paradigm creators, we're birthing a world inside of a world. So we need to preserve that world that we are birthing so freaking much to, to really, 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 really insulate. So when you have fourth dimensional kind of patterning come up, you need to like shift into truth. I am just going to be in a state of truth. You don't participate with it. You don't even talk to it. You're just like... Mm, good day, sir. Like, no. And then life. Yes. And this insulation is going to look differently for different people, but I do believe that this is also partially why many of us who are on the path have been called out to lands, right? There's many reasons for that, but called out to like um, more remote areas or to travel nomadically because we're meant to be in this place of insulating ourselves and tuning into our essence and really holding that and holding the creative possibilities and what are are of our core desires in this next chapter of life that we are wanting to invite in for ourselves so insulate babies <laughs> keep yourself in your bubble i love you care for creation and this is one way that I show up caring for creation if you found value in this um, know that you can find me on Venmo or PayPal at Ashton Tulip uh, so donations are absolutely welcome and if interested in working with me you can contact me for a one-on-one -on -one intensive <sighs> much love